What is going on, everyone? This is your man, King May, coming back with y'all right here in the King May YouTube channel. How is everyone doing today? And hey, we are back on Midwest Horizon, you guys. We just finished up our first field of summer wheat, you guys. Well, winter wheat harvesting here. Things are looking pretty good here, you guys. So based off of the comment section, you all, we went ahead, we bought field number 24. That is leaving us with $475,000 left. But you know what? That's okay, because we're going to be making some money off of the wheat here. We are still doing very, very well, you guys. Very well with our money, even after buying that field. So I'm very excited about this. I want to see how much we can make from the wheat here. And then we need to continue on with our corn planting here, you guys. We still have time to plant corn. So we're going to do it. We're going to try to make as much money as we possibly can. And right now, dry corn is the highest paying commodity. So that's what we're going to stick with here this year on Midwest Horizon. Now, like I said to you guys, we want to save our grain storage here on the farm. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use our combine and auger wagon. We're going to bring it on back to the farm, leave the truck kind of parked in the grass so we're gonna go ahead here let's pull on up let's get our auger wagon unloaded and ready to go here you guys because summer wheat harvest has begun and we need to get after it now i've got another question for you guys here once i let you guys know how much we have made from it i don't know should we do winter wheat again uh it's definitely a possibility but we're gonna have to definitely run tillage after corn if we're going to go that route so as we hop back into the combine here you guys let me know down in that comment section and uh we'll go from there because if so we're gonna have to also purchase some sort of a cedar here you guys let's go ahead let's take care of our furthest field away from the house here as far as wheat goes it is actually right here it's not that far but it's definitely not exactly across the street here nothing too crazy going on with this video you all i hope you enjoy it it might be still just a shorter but very super chill video getting some harvesting done here if you like the video today make sure you go ahead and tap that thumbs up button for me and of course if you haven't yet subscribed here to the king may community make sure you go ahead and you do that for me now y'all but i'm gonna open this field up i need to make sure that we're fully paying attention here on the end rows especially on this field there's some trees that are kind of intruding into the field so we might have to come in later and get that fixed up but for right now we're gonna try and get harvest going so y'all i'm gonna catch up with y'all in a minute all right you guys so as you can see we're rocking about 150 or so bushels per acre it's about 150 160 somewhere in that range now keep in mind we bought this field late it was planted beforehand so overall the quality in which we're going to be getting this wheat harvested off at y'all is going to be a little bit rough so looks like as we're kind of getting into the field here i i'm just keeping with the gps lines that i had set earlier it looks like it's about 93 bushels an acre actually so we're a little bit lower that's okay though if you guys decide down in the comments section if we're gonna run winter wheat again this next year we're definitely gonna have a lot more nitrogen on the field and we're gonna be better well suited for it so we should have a much higher quality especially this field you guys because this field is pretty much all loam soil type which means it's gonna be one heck of a good producing field for crop as long as we keep up and manage well our nitrogen levels here especially for corn coming up this fall it could be a well producing field for wheat as well if we do do winter wheat again for this next year you guys again let me know in the comments section what you all think as we finish up that little section right there though you guys can see down in that mini map y'all our harvest production with this field it's still in the green we got some yellow spots it looks like on some of the end rows i'm gonna go ahead and get on down we're gonna cut about somewhere in the middle ish of this field and we're just gonna keep sectioning this baby off all right you guys we just hopped in the old 8330 here we're gonna go ahead head on down and get ourselves unloaded because we are completely full in that combine and i'm thinking based off of what we've been able to get done so far we're probably gonna fill up that combine at least two more times on this field before we are done so we're gonna actually get a pretty decent amount even though we're about 93 bushel an acre right now it's a little bit low from our nitrogen being low however 
it's still semi in the green so we're getting a decent amount y'all and i don't know i think this might be a pretty beneficial deal for us here with doing winter wheat so i, I don't know you guys let me know in the comment section again i know i'm kind of repeating myself on that but i don't i need some help with that and deciding what you all want to see all right there we go got ourselves unloaded here y'all and we're going to continue on our way with wheat harvest y'all and i think we're going to go ahead and get a get a decent amount of this field knocked out here and then we're going to go ahead and switch gears get back into the case and get to planting corn on the field that we already have done. Reason being is I wanna make sure we stay on top of this, get that corn into the ground. I'm not worried about tillage right now. This field does not need to be plowed by any means. So we're gonna no-till the corn right on in over the top of this wheat here. Get it in the ground, get it growing here so that we make sure we have optimal growing as much as we can to try and get the crop off the ground here for this fall. Looks like our neighbor Shane is uh, heading down the road here. My goodness, he's got a one heck of a good looking rig there. I believe he's rocking the uh, S600 series. Oh, it looks like he's actually pulling on in to here. I wonder if he's coming on over to give us a lending hand. My goodness. Well, hey Shane, how's it going today, my man? Oh, pretty good. How about yourself? Oh, I'm doing pretty well. Hey, what what you doing on this side of, this side of the woods, huh? Well, I got done finishing up my own wheat harvest and figured I'd come drop by and see if you needed any help. Oh, dude, that would actually help me out a lot, man. Is there uh, is there anything like do you, you want me to pay you a little bit or? Uh, I'll uh, I'll write you up a little bit at the end of the the end of the field and uh, we'll let you know. All right. Well. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're just about finished up with this one, and then I've got uh, field number 73. It's just on the other side of the road there. If you wanted to help me out with that, I, we can bust this one out, and I'm probably going to start planting. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I got a, a fuel tank over here if you wanted to top off with fuel. And, uh, yeah, just let me know what I owe you after that. That would help me out a lot. All right. Sounds good to me. All right, my man, let's, uh, let's get to knocking it out then. While we're working out the uh, GPS here, I end up uh, saving my line, sending it to Shane here. And it uh, looks like he's got a 35 foot header. So a little bit bigger than mine, about five feet. And uh, we're just going ahead and continuing on with harvest here. Should get done fairly quick now with two combines. So definitely worth uh, paying out our neighbor here a little bit for having him come and and uh, knocking out the acres with us here today. Look at that, baby. Pretty maids all in a row. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna go ahead and empty our grain cart here, get Shane rolling, and we're gonna get to planting, you guys. And with that being said, we actually, we couldn't fully unload that. I think we're about at our legal limit here. Let's head on down and get this wheat sold, you guys. Now, pulling up on our tablet, looks here like the Cooper Farms grain is gonna be where we want to sell this wheat right now. Might not be the best of prices because wheat isn't exactly the time to sell, but we are going to still sell this right away. So we're going to head on down there. Let's get this wheat sold and see what kind of money we're going to make this summer here, you guys. $7,003 for the bag. So double that up. We got $14,006, y'all, just from that little bit that we've brought in so far. We got... Uh, one more field that we need to harvest yet here, but that brings us almost back to $500,000, you guys. So we're going to be sitting rather pretty. I mean, it's it's not crazy numbers by any means, but I think it's definitely going to be worth it if we do winter wheat here this next year. All right, there we go. Truck is parked back, ready to go here for the next field there. We're going to go ahead and take a slight yog here let's get the combine back to the yard all right so just taking a look it looks like our scale all right we're sitting rather good on seed let me go ahead i'm just gonna sit on top of these tanks here let's uh see how our liquid fert is doing oh boy uh okay we're gonna need a Let's get topped off here with liquid fert, y'all. All right, so taking a look at the scale, it actually looks like we're starting to get rather low on liquid fert. So we're going to pull the skid steer out, and we need to head on down to Hoberman's here. Now, I did get a phone call, and it actually sounds like there's going to be a little bit of a uh, shop party here going on. So 
planting is probably going to get pushed off a little bit here just so we can enjoy our our time for at least an hour or so so we got the liquid fur trailer hooked up you guys and we're gonna head on down to hoverman's here but y'all with that being said we're gonna call this one a video i hope you guys are enjoying this series it looks so far like y'all are and hey we're trying to keep this as realistic as we possibly can you guys and man i'm enjoying it just something different trying to get back to some just good old farming good old-fashioned farming videos for you all and uh I hope you guys are enjoying them just a little bit more laid back just let me know if you want a more peppy i can change it up but anyways if you guys enjoyed the video today make sure you go ahead tap that thumbs up button for me and of course if you haven't yet subscribed here to the king May community make sure you go ahead and you do that for me now but we're gonna go ahead grab something to eat here at this old shop party get topped off with some liquid fur and I'm going to catch up with you guys here probably mid-summer and get you caught up with where we are at on the server, you guys. So we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.